Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. A few days ago I made this picture here, this was just a little playing around. And I got many requests uh, to show, uh, to make a tutorial for this. Uh, it's not really hard to do, it's... Uh, yeah, uh, first this, uh, the most uh, people said uh, they don't like this, this uh, uh, box here under the so we do it without the box I show you how to do it with the box but uh, it's it's not by many difference and uh, not much difference and I show you a way with pool but pool is in this case not so it it, it looks uh, at the beginning it looks good but um, it's not so perfect because we have to with pool we have two less subdivisions for the displacement yes and this is uh, uh, from real displacement the texture so I can't give you this in uh, in the project file, uh, unfortunately, because this is uh, is these are not free textures. So I give a link in the in the description where you can buy it. Uh, but you will find uh, some nice uh, textures in the internet or somewhere where, where you can do this. Uh, where you can do almost the same. So. Uh, but uh, I really recommend to buy it. They are worth the money because uh, they are high resolution and, and really, really nice to work with them. Yeah, uh, this this render is done in Octane, but I'm sure we uh, can get the same in, uh, not the same, but almost the same in uh, with physical render too. And we will do this uh, mud, this this ground here in black and white, and and uh, this infinite symbol here. Uh, in color, so we, this will be do in uh, Photoshop, and so we will make an alpha mask for this uh, symbol here. And 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 and. Let's start. My English isn't good enough to to <laughs> chat. Okay, so first we use a spline, um, which most of you maybe never used. So this is the Sissoid here. And this is sweet. <laughs> we go in the uh, lemon escape mode. A type. And we have an infinite sign. Now I want uh inside with ten and I want eight sides. It's the best number which for me which works with with uh, uh, subdivision surface and then with eight everything worked until now. So now I want to clone the end side around the infinite symbol. So I select my end side, go to Monograph and Alt click on cloner. In the cloner I don't want linear. I want to object. And drag the sisoid spline inside. And now we have this. Distribution, I don't want count, I want even, so everything is even. And I want, how many did I use? Don't know. So, uh, yeah, 12. So that is here on the edge, and here on the edge we have one clone. Everything is even distributed now. But I want here bigger ones, here bigger ones, and in the middle I want small ones, and here on the edge I want small ones. So how can we do this? I copy my end side here, and just drag it under it, so that it is still in the cloner. So, it's here. To, to copy, just control, uh, hit control on the keyboard and drag it down to the object you want. So. I have this and this I want with 35. This is the bigger one. You see, okay, we have a bigger one. Uh, but this is not what I want, so I need here to a bigger one. So I need an another copy. So I copy this bigger one. Control, drag it down. So I, try, uh, I just hit it uh, a break for a moment because they are so, such an idiot outside of the window. It, it, Shouts it doesn't matter. So uh, I made another copy, and now you see we have 
bigger ones here where I want it and on the, here on the edge and here in the middle we have smaller ones. That's exactly what I want. The next one is I uh, select my cloner and put my cloner in a loft. So I select my cloner, go to the loft and alt click on the loft and we get this. So we have something to set up here in the loft. In the loft we don't need caps, this is the first. Okay, and here in the object we have eight sides here, and in the loft you need uh, every time one point more than uh, you, you normally you would use. So if I would use here eight, you see we lose here, we miss here one edge. So I need nine here. I don't know why, but every time you need one more as you would need, and just so you see with nine it works perfect. And we need loop. Whoops, and we have a perfect infinite sign here. Only thing what I don't like is this here, these intersections here, it intersects here. And we will see if we put this loft in, in a subdivision surface. You see we have ugly in intersections here. If you are lazy, you can <laughs> work with this, there's no problem. But I don't like this, so. I'm, I'm lazy, but <laughs> not so lazy. Okay, what I do is now, I take my loft nubs and right click on it and current state to object. So I have here my, this is my new thing, I name it 8. And for the other things here, I make a Oops, backup folder and drag it in the backup folder. And this null I don't need. The 8 I can put under the subdivision surface and uh, spline and do my backup folder. So, a little makeup. Now, what I do is I want to repair this thing here. It is easier than you will think, than you might think. I select my 8 and uh, go in point mode and select this, here is a point, let's select this one point here, delete it. On the other side I do the same, I delete it here. Okay, next thing, I want to delete uh, this, uh, I hit UL with a line of a loop selection. I have to go here to stop at boundary edges select these points here and delete them and i do these middle points here the same and delete them so we have a hole here <coughs> now i want to connect these points here to this, this one with this one this one with this one this one with this one so that everything is connected then we make an uh, let's let's see then we will we close a polygon hole and then so to do uh, uh, connect them at the points. Go with live selection. Select these two points you want to, to, to connect. Then hit MQ for the weld tool. And you see the white middle point here? Oh, you will see it better here. Um, let's start here. With the weld tool with MQ. We have the weld and you see the white point here. Now it's it welds the points here in the middle. We have to go here, you see the white point here, it would weld here or here. If you want to weld in the middle, just uh, go somewhere in the viewport and that is the middle point. But I want to start here because so I see most. So go to the weld tool and click and just weld it. Do the same here. Uh, with the spacebar you can toggle between the last two uh, used uh, tools. So when I hit spacebar you see it live selection and others uh, to hit on spacebar weld tool. Live selection. Space. So now I select them, spacebar, and weld them. The other side too here. These two, spacebar, weld. Okay, here I do the same. Spacebar for the live selection, spacebar for the weld tool. Click spacebar. Whoops, and here. Okay, and the same we do here. Here it looks a little weird, but it's okay. Take this point with this point, life so 
here we have two points, you see it, it's close, but it's two points. Okay, and spacebar for the life selection, spacebar for the weld tool. Other thing here. Okay. Okay, that's it. We are connected everywhere. And now with MD, MD, close the polygon hole here. Then I need a line cut, so KK in R18, in earlier versions you use just K on your keyboard. So I want here the single cut. So cut from here to here, and cut from here to here. So I have quads here. Same here on the other side. <coughs> Sorry. MD. KK. And we are done, we repaired everything. And if I go now to my subdivision surface, everything looks nice and smooth. So NI for the isopalms. And you see, everything is perfect. So now we have our infinite symbol. symbol. So now I show you uh, how it works with the bool to get some to pull it out in, in this in this box in this stone it works but i show you why i don't uh, want to pull so first i go to my eight here and now i make a cube let's say 50 centimeter in z axis and if i want this side in the middle so i have to go z to 25 and I'm exactly in the middle of this infinity sign here. So I go in the side view, make it something like that, something like that. So let's say here 500 to 300. Okay. <coughs> okay. Next thing, I take my cube here and put it in a pool. Select the cube, Alt click on pool. And now I drag my 8 here under the cube and everything is, you see, it works really good with the pool. We have very nice uh, geometry, everything, but I don't have geometry here. Uh, and and when, I want, when I want to uh, work with displacement, I need some segments here, I need, I need something to displace and here we don't have anything. So the displacement wouldn't work nice. And that's the reason I want uh, to make it. I don't want to make it with the bool. Uh, I, I could cut la later on some uh, thing, some, some uh, segments or, or something else in, but that is not what I want. And the, the bevel doesn't work so good too with with uh, this bool thing. Here, here it's, I think it would work, but uh, but I, I show you how I did it so that we have enough subdivisions and everything. And we can make later this cube later on too. So this would be uh, if you want it like this. Yeah, I show you the bevel tool. If you don't want to make something like uh, uh, to, to to go up here on the, on the sides and something else, or you don't need a, a displacement or something else, then you of course you can do it like this. It's no problem. So because when I go to my bool and Alt G to put it in the null because I want to bevel the pool, so, uh, and I can't, can't put the bevel deformer under the pool, so I put it in the null, and everything what is in the null will be affected with the bevel, by the bevel. So I select my null here, and shift click on the bevel, and you see, we have bevel here. But not here, the reason is, we have to go to the pool, and here create a single object. Now we get this, what's not really nice, but we can go to hide new edges, then it looks better. Everything, you see it, it works really good, so, but I want a bigger bevel, so I want four centi centimeter here. Okay, this don't work here. And the next thing what I can do, I don't need the bevel here. 
here in, inside because they ate uh, the, the eight is over it so I don't see this so so I don't need to bury this it makes just problems here we have a problem but this we will get later on too but uh, we can repair this so we'll go to solid here and try to solid and you see we have uh, just uh, we have a little mess here so but if you want it uh, let's let's say just uh, say we are fine with two centimeter yeah two centimeter it works everywhere and so we don't need this uh, pebble here so let's go to the angle threshold and go up here you see so something like this and you have everywhere the pebble and if you just need this okay you are done you can start to do texture just take your Q, uh, your eight here copy it so control drag it out and you are done let's see so go here to low just to see how it looks and and we have this here's the font text so we need this in the subdivision surface and so we would look in you would get something like this but i don't want it i want to make more with this i want to make displacement i want to uh, um, drag out the edges a little bit and everything so for this now let's take my eight i delete everything thing else here so okay i go in the side view point mode and i delete the half of it so Null for the rectangle selection and and delete everything. When you have the rectangle selection, you want to delete everything. Be sure only select visible elements isn't isn't checked. So okay. Now it's getting weird. I go in the side view and I want to this view. Okay. Now I hit UM for a path selection in edge mode and select from somewhere like here that this would be good. It's not it doesn't matter if you're here or here, that is but I want to select this one to to about here, so there's an um, same side, the same edge, it looks looks okay. Same I want to do here. Hold the shift key to add the selection. Uh, something like this maybe here uh, so it should be okay so T for scale and I hold my control key and now I scale it up something like that uh, no, that doesn't look so nice. Yeah, we can work with this. But I think it's better we do it not together. So one edge after the other is better, I think. <coughs> I will show you why. So back and UM and I delete this one. I make it later. So E for move tool, control key and move this up. Yeah, that looks better and now i just go to here to the y size and make it null okay this is the first thing what i want let's say we go to position 150 here is it uh, should be okay or make 170 okay now i select this one with um for the path selection about to here okay e for the move tool and control drag it down same again here in the size null and we had 170 so we go here to minus 170 was it 170 yeah. yes okay now the same we do for the sides I the um for the move tool and I go from here to here 
and E. And for the move tool, control, drag it down. I hold the shift key so I can say, okay, 70 is okay here. And now in the X size, null. Okay, the same I do here. <coughs> I'm sure there are other ways, <laughs> but this is my way now. Okay, E and control drag it, 70. Okay, and null. Okay, we are here now. And what I want to do now, oh, I did something wrong. Oh, we can do it so too, that doesn't matter, but uh, let's go back this too. Sorry for this. UM, I want to add this edge and this edge too. And now E and move. 70, yes, this is what I want. Or 80 is okay. 80. Size 9. And here the same. That is, this was I recommend every time. If you have time, uh, just first watch the tutorial and then uh, if you watch the tutorial, then start to do it. Uh, because, so you are not angry about <laughs> me <laughs> when you have to go some steps back. And uh, and so just uh, take a beer or coffee or whatever you want, uh, uh, watch it. And then when you understood it or something else, even try it without the tutorial, then you try to remember what you have seen and try it. So at least I do it like this when I watch a tutorial. I just, first I watch it before, I, 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 uh, I don't even start cinema, so uh, just watch the tutorial. But of course you can do it however you want. So control drag it and but so you, if you just watch it first, you don't be angry and say, ah, now I have to go back <laughs> this, this idiot, what he shows us. So now what I want to do, I don't like this here. This quote is, I want here a cut, but I don't want a cut, because then I would have a triangle. So I do something, go in point mode, live selection and select these three points here. And again, I go to the Weld tool with MQ. MQ, so, and you see, we put Weld here now, but I want to Weld on this point. So I go to this point and Weld it to this point. Now I have quotes here. The same I do here. Point to them. Weld tool. <clears throat> you remember with, with the spacebar, you can toggle between the last two used. Uh, tools and so you see you can do it very fast everything okay and now I want to distribute the points here a little bit a little bit better and for this I use I think I didn't use it in, in a tutorial before but I use it now so I go to rectangle selection select these points I want to distribute and now with the uh, tool is, is it MC yeah? MC is the brush tool uh, I want don't want bell I want to go to linear and here I want to smooth and let's say 200 strange would be okay and now I go here to the middle and just drag over it uh, you see <laughs> then we have a nice distribution so you can you can nicely distribute the points here. Same I want to make with the, with the other one here. So with this ones. Uh, something like that. Here the same. Okay, and here the same. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good so far. And now we have here a really nice thing to work. So, what we need, uh, we need 
here. This polygon holes closed, so MD. Close polygon hole and close polygon hole here. So I, I go in my live view and just click somewhere in the viewport so nothing is selected. And now I optimize my thing so that I can be sure everything is optimized. I have my optimize here in the toolbar. So if you don't have it, just right click and go to optimize here. Good. Now we can bevel. So, like, I want to bevel it. So, go to check line, also to do edge mode, UL. Take this, this, and this. As I said, with the shift select, uh, with the shift hold it, you can select, uh, you can add selection. I save my selection with the set selection. Here I have now my edge selection. If you don't have it here, you go to select and here set selection. <coughs> so the next thing is I need a bevel. Click on the bevel. So in the bevel, I put my selection. Here I don't need an angle because I have my selection and put this paper under my head. Good so far and I said I want four and I want solid because I want to work with the subdivision surface. Looks great, but we have a little problem here. You see? But this we will fix. But the other, the other thing, everything looks great here. Okay, let's fix this here. This is very easy. I go to my 8 here and right click and current state to object. So I can put this with the barrel in the backup folder. This here under for later. Okay, go in the point mode. And with ME, this is the polygon pen. I just drag this point uh, down up to this point and here I do the same this point and drag it over this point so this is the first thing but we see we have here triangles if you don't have the polygon pen if you have an earlier version you can of course do this uh, the same with the weld tool so to, uh, take these two points and and uh, weld tool and then click on the point where, where you want to weld. So, but we have triangles here. So what we want is to kill these triangles. For this, go my life selection, select these two points, MQ for the weld tool, we spoke in the, see in the middle, I want it in the middle. Bop. Now I have quad here, quad here, here still, but here. Just go in the edge mode. Yeah, yeah of course. Select this one and MN for dissolve. In the earlier versions you don't have MN, so just right click and click the, uh, on dissolve there. And we have a quad here too, so we have everywhere quads now. Same I do on this side. Whoop whoop. Weld tool with MQ and go edge mode. Take this and M in. Okay. What I want here is this is just makeup again. These two points here and T for scale and scale them a little. So it looks a little better. So I have here flow and nice flow. Okay. This is this. Let's see what we get with the subdivision surface here. First, uh, let's make some nice uh, loop cuts. So KL for loop cut, you see. Uh, in the earlier versions, just hit K and go in loop mode. So and now I can one cut, two cuts, three cuts. Okay. And now I have enough subdivisions for everything. What I need, I can track this out later. I can uh, w w have wonderful uh, 
segments were like wonderful uh, polygons for displacement and everything. I have everything what I need. But you know, not not uh, show you what we get now. If we put this in the subdivision surface, looks great. Here we need to do to, to, to do something. Here we have everything is really nice. But you see here we have some problems. And let's see what we can do. This problem here with this loop, this could be uh, an optimized problem. Let's see if we can do this. Click on optimize. Yep, this <laughs> it was an optimized problem. Okay, what I did is just go back when so you see it. I just clicked somewhere in the viewport so nothing is selected and optimize. And this is done. But we need some cuts here so that we have a nice mesh here too. Because this is this is a little bit, but really little, so it's not. I don't cut it here, I just make it a little different. Not different. For me it's easier. Go to select these two points and MM to to uh, uh mm to to uh, make <laughs> to, to cut it here so what it's called mesh let's see how uh, come on what it's called right click and connect point edges mm <laughs> that's it mm and i don't want to see that this axis now because it's then, uh, so alt d you can hide the axis with alt d and with again Alt D you can it, it, you can bring it back so Alt D Alt D. So I select these two, MM, 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 I say MM and I uh, want something sweet. <laughs> what a surprise! So uh, you see it goes quite fast so and the result is worth it to work. Okay, that's enough. Here we, we need one cut from here to here. So but what I do is I don't cut, go again and take these edges here. MM whoop, I have not this one here point mode select this and this point mm i like this mm <laughs> okay now i see we have here a quad and i go to mo for to my this is the, the slide tool mo and i want just to slide this point a little down here so that was but it's it's not really necessary here no it's not it's necessary here it would be here is we have a quad here but you see it, the color here, just slide it a little bit and it's done. Okay, here the next, so, mm, mm, Okay, almost done. And mm, okay. Uh, edge mode, whoops, mm, point mode, tuck, tuck, mm, and here just point mode slide tool mo and slide it a little bit. That's it. And now 
our mesh will look like this. And that's it's much better, I would say. <clears throat> and now, of course, you can do uh, this this cube thing too. So to, if you want to do a cube, so just hit UL, a loop selection here. And we have to go out of here, so loop selection, E for the move tool. Uh, now we need our axis back, so Alt D. Control on the keyboard and drag it down. Let's first a little bit for our rounding, then again a little bit, and again a little for the rounding. Then T for scale with the control key. Scale it down a little for the rounding and drag. So we don't see it from the behind. So with the, if you want to close, just MD and uh, MD and close polygon hold. That's it. And so, if you go down to the subdivision surface, you see you have a nice box here. Everything is nice and smooth. But I don't want here, so the people didn't want a box, so let's go back here. Okay. Yeah, that's more than less it for for modeling. Le oh, let's save this thing. <laughs> so, uh, Infinite. <coughs> Good. Do we have here everything? Okay. Oh, everything is squats, 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 squats. Nice. So what I want is now. You see, we have this nice uh, smoothing. This works everything great. And I want to drag this. Uh, you. Oh, what I see. You notice what I'm missing, but I. I don't want the, the normal in this way, I want it, I want it the orange way. <laughs> so, uh, do, 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 reverse, so, okay. But it doesn't matter, you can let it be in the blue way too, this is no problem. So the next thing what I want is UL in polygon mode and select this here. And I select this here and select this here. E for the move tool and just now I can drag this up a little bit. Let's say 10 centimeter. Hold your shift key so you have increments. Okay. And if I subtribution now and I, I have now this nice uh, things coming up here. So what I did is uh, cut it this eight and a half, but we have backups, so we should have an an eight here <laughs> that we can use. So control drag it out here. Don't need barrel here. Is this in half? One, two. Oh, this is this. Don't say I haven't. It doesn't matter. We have to loft. Uh, I forgot to save the, the, the 8, but it's no problem. So, so what I can do here is quite simple. UL, delete these points. Normally, when I take this in a symmetry object, Nothing happens. Yeah, okay. Now I have my eight back here. Okay, <laughs> my eight is back. Oh, let it in symmetry, why not? So I put everything in a uh, subdivision surface, so I take this 8 here, Alt-G, put it in the null, and everything what is in the null will be affected with uh, from the subdivision surface then. Yep. Okay. Nice, we have this. So good. Now, 
let's start to make something out of this. Save again. Go to my null R and whoops. 90 degrees. Okay. I want to do this in the in the so and let's make low GI and GI and want to make one by one render. Okay. Something like that. Okay, of course I want this bigger UL in line mode in edge modes, yeah. T for scale, and I try to scale it sometimes out. So, so we hold the control key and one, two, three, four. It's just do I have something. So, okay, now it's directly in the floor. <laughs> and I want it to, okay. Now I want my <coughs> Nicometer scene rig, of course, to do to, to, uh, texture and light. So I take my scene rig. I don't need floor and everything. I don't need this, this, this. We have everything. And the camera, let's see one, one. Here is the middle. Uh, but this I just want to show you. We have here now uh, cross hairs, and uh, this is in the new version. This will come in the new version of the Nicometa scenery. You can change the colors. You can uh, make a cross here in the middle for everything you want. And so you have everything every time the exact middle point of this scene. For this it's not so good, but I wanted to show it, so, so, so there will come an uh, uh, update soon. Good. Okay. Now, should I work with, uh, this, this, with, this, uh, with, with the real displacement or not? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's make first the wood texture. So double click in the material manager, double click here. And shift F8. You will get the project file, but uh, as I said, I can't give you the, the real displacement textures. So, what do I want? My textures. Wood. I have this red wood. I haven't saved my red woods already. I think I have it in the done materials. <coughs> Let's see, yes, this I want. And it's no problem. Let's we need just the textures. Here, red wood. So I go to the color channel and put this in. You will get this texture, of course, because this one you can have so and and take normal map and what do we have here this is the roughness oh why not let's go to the reflectance channel and the fresnel and I, I need dielectric i use normally for the wood i use oil normally so no specular roughness to 100% because I put a texture in it. So here we have a small arrow. You don't see it here, but you have a small arrow here. And so we can drag this roughness map in here. Okay. This is our wood texture. Okay. So let's see what we get, but I think this is too too rough. But let's go to fifty. 
let's see what we get I put this on my eight here okay that looks nice so far but I think we will use cubic map for this cubic mapping <laughs> it's the, it's already looks nice yeah, that's the Nicomedia scene rig. <laughs> what shall I say? So, uh, yes, I said that I want to try the cubic mapping. Yeah, cubic mapping is better. Maybe a fit to object. Let's see if this. changes something it does not really change something but it does not it does not hurt okay and this is this it's already <laughs> very nice and now let's let's me think how we can texture this floor I, I want to give you something so uh, that's a little problem let's see what I have in my what I can give you. Uh, something here. if you can use something of this here so this will come on this one here yeah of course displacement uh, See what we can do with this. It's getting interesting. Uh, for and what can we do here again? That's Oh, my mistake. Let's go to here and I want a cubic map in here too. That does not really change anything. Huh? Because it does not change anything. Five hundred. So this is an old texture. I don't have anything here. Because I would have to go here to. So it was at three hundred, I think. Here. Let's make it here. Go to five hundred here. Change is not thing that's, that's weird. Uh, the change is something, but this is not the texture I want. No, uh, let's see. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I would do it with the with the real displacement texture, but uh, as I said, I can't give you the textures for the real displacement. But just to see that the uh, okay, like this. This is an octane uh, octane uh, texture, but I just need. Make another one, ground for the normal. And now I go to the done texture, go to the diffuse, copy this out. Diffuse is colors. Uh, oops. Now that I do this, isn't it? Roughness, normal, close, it is placement, so it must be this. Yeah. Must be this. So, count. Oh, now we have space. Okay. Uh, whoop, whoop. Next one. Specular is the gloss, of course. So I got amount reflectance. Make here dielectric asphalt. I take for sand normally for the. Reflection map. I take the gloss here. <coughs> Sorry, and for the roughness, I take the roughness, of course, and I go to 100%. Okay, so far, so good. Then I want displacement, of course. Displacement, subdivision, displace, subsurface, uh, subdivision, surface. subdivision, 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 and let's say fifteen. This texture is, I think, for two hundred seventy centimeter or something else. So I go to my texture here I go to my texture to the and I need the axis mode and now I can see how big the texture is styled so 270 270 270 I think this is for 270. looks a little better intensity not so much it's getting better yes let's say yes and now I need a normal map too <clears throat> Sorry again. Okay. Okay, I take this. And I need another uh, HDI to light the scene. So and try to, so I can put this ground away here. And up. Or was this the 500 centimeter? I don't know at the moment. Normally they write it in the name, but not 
not here. Uh, so what's it? Yes. Displacement. I don't really want you to try this, but this. I think now it's better here. Yeah. We have some weird displacement here. Uh, sometimes you get uh, uh, that they break your mesh, that this displacement breaks your mesh. Uh, I had it in in my original picture. So I had it here everywhere, the mesh break. But I, I simply, I was lazy, I simply uh, uh, rep repaired this in Photoshop then. So. It's faster to repair this in Photoshop than to try it. Uh, okay. And you see, this is not the same uh, texture like I used, but doesn't matter. First thing that I will try is to make the texture a little bigger here. Go to the texture again and try it with 500. Nope, I think 270 was okay. Here I just changed the tiling, the, 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 the size of one tile of the displacement. And that's okay. Let's find a nice uh, lighting for this. this is, so I save it. So for the lighting, I go into HDRI. Test layout. So, uh, da, da, da. here is the da, da, outdoor, and somewhere I have uh, something with a beach. Yeah, here. Oops, scenery, HDRI settings. So. Yeah, that <laughs> much better. You see here now that this, <laughs> this yeah, that's great. <clears throat> that's much better. Yeah, it has a lot to do with the lighting too, of course. Mm, yeah, I think it. That's I think that's it. So go back to the normal. Let's try some rotations. This is just a preview we have here so with the sun. Yeah, that looks nice. This is okay now, the sun comes from here. This will need a little longer to render, maybe because because of the sun. Okay, in Octan, you don't think about how long will it render. So, but you see now the the, the great displacement here, everywhere. I will I will see. If it, maybe I find a free uh, texture for you to do where you can do this. But you will find some, and and there are pro programs uh, that, where you can. Uh, Make your own normal maps, your own displacement maps, your own uh, reflection and rough days maps, uh, like Shader Map Three. Uh, I use Shader Map Three, uh, but there is a, a free tool. Uh, Crazy Bump is a free tool that, that can do this uh, as well. And in the new Photoshop, you can do with the three D filter. You can go to, uh, you can make your bump maps and normal maps. So, but you see, we get a nice, really nice. Uh, and I like this like, like this, so save it, and I don't need the... And what I need now is, I want an alpha mask for this, uh, for this uh, 8 here. So I go to my symmetry object, right click, and I need an compositing tag. In the compositing object buffer, and enabled, I have buffer 1 here. 
I'll get to here and I will render this with, with the high settings. So I need here an output of 720 by 720. And for the object buffer, we need to enable multipass. Right click on it and object buffer. So we have object buffer one here. Click on save here. It's okay, but I don't, don't need a file at the moment. I don't need the alpha channel, but why not? Okay, this should be, the, but I want to do it with the low settings too, so you can see what I mean. Multipass and object buffer. Okay. This is this, but this is low. I want to make a low render now for you. So, but this is progressive, so I have to go to make fixed with one. This will not be a good uh, uh, quality now, but it's just to see the object, object buffer. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see what it does when we render. Oh, we have just one machine now which renders, but. Okay, for this we don't need a team render. Okay, and in the layers now you see, we have, when we go to single layer, we have here now an alpha map for just our eight. And this is what we need later. Okay, the alpha I don't need, but okay. But we want uh, depth of field. We almost forgot depth of field. For depth of field, we need a camera. And for this easy camera, we have the camera now. We have a nice uh, view on it, so don't need my scene rig for the camera. So I activate it. And for the depth of field, um, you have to go down with the F stop. But you can go down here to 0.5 and you will see nothing because for the depth of field you have to activate in the render settings in physical depth of field. If you click it, you immediately see we get depth of field. So we need a focus. For this we can go here in the object on the camera object we can go with focus and to put uh, to click on this uh, arrow here and let's say I want to focus here click here and let's see what we get where you click it should be sharp <laughs> you see and here we have depth of field you're not okay so far but normally I use a focus object so, so uh, I make an object I'll show you what I mean I go here in the top more of you let's see and I need an uh, I make a null name it focus and where the null is is the focus then so uh, Put the null to somewhere like here. Uh, here. Okay, and now I go to my camera and just drag here, focus object, I drag my null inside. So now I can simply drag my null wherever I want and I have the focus there. So save it and let's see what we get. Nice, 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 nice. Maybe now we can play with the with the focus. As higher the number is, as as less depth of field you get. So if you see when, when I go to point one, 
you will see <laughs> almost nothing. But of course, where, where your focus is, there, there it's sharp. <laughs> Maybe you like it like this. <laughs> but, but I think 0.5 was uh, quite good. Maybe 0.4. No point four is it? Yeah, I laid it with point four. Okay, now I will make an bet an high quality a higher quality render with the alpha mask, and I show you then we, how we can make this black and white thing in Photoshop with the alpha mask. Okay, so I'm back in a minute for you. Oh, in a minute, in a second, in less than a second. I'm poof. It's a, we will see how fast I am back. So we have here now the render, and yeah, I rendered it just in 720. And yeah, and here in the layer we have our object buffer. You see it here. And of course, what I forgot, I am back in a second. I forgot to <laughs> to activate the depth of field. Uh, at least I tell you, don't forget to, to activate. <laughs> okay, I'm back in another second. Okay, now we are here. So this is it now. And we have this, of course, this mask here. And you see it, even in the mask, it even takes the uh, depth of field too. So that's great. This is exactly what we need. So what I do, normally you could save it now as a PSD file in 16-bit, uh, so PSD 16-bit, and then you have it in your alpha, the alpha channel under the layers here, but I make it uh, uh, something like this, I go to Photoshop, make a new file with 720 by 720, 720, and 16-bit and create. Now I go back to to uh, Cinema 14, edit, copy, back to Photoshop and Control V and this is nothing. Why does it this? Oh, we will see. Okay, let's save it, <laughs> save as PSD 16-bit, okay, yeah, come on. Good, I don't know why it's so easy, but it doesn't matter. So here you see we have in the channel, so you can see it, you have the alpha channel, we don't need this alpha channel. But you see we have in the, here the, our mask we need later on then. So you know I make, first what I do in Photoshop is just Control J to copy the background layer, so I have my original here. Then make a smart object. I have a shortcut here, but you can go right click, convert to smart object. Then Control Shift A for the camera raw filter. And let's see what we can do here. We start with the clarity. We see how this looks. This great. Very nice texture here. And you see, we have a little grain here, but uh, I like this grain. It is. We can get rid of it later on. You see, we can go with the luminance, and then we can get, we can make this very smooth. But I like this grain, so I, I want this. Okay, we s I'm fine with this here. Okay, now I make another uh, smart object out of this. Uh, for me, it's uh, I made I made the shortcut Control Alt Shift S. But this won't work by you. So filter, I go to the new collection to do the same like before, like every time. Color effects. 
to 100%, whatever it is. Do we need a detail extractor? Oh, not really. No, go to my favorites. So, uh, fantastic square range. Dark and light and center I do every time, so okay. Add another filter. Maybe this one. Maybe the color range. No, that's too much. But here you can play with your own, uh, like, so how you want. No, I don't like this one. I let it like this, I think. Okay. And now I copy this one. Uh, control J. Then uh, I make a smart object out. Could I could make a smart object out of here too? Uh, yeah, why not? Make another smart object out of this. So, and now I go to the adjustments and go to the black and white adjustment. And here I will see how I get my black and white here, how I like it most. So I play with the colors. Don't don't look at the eight. We don't need the eight. We, we don't we look at oopsie. We look at the mud here at the sand. But for this we can uh, use. We can uh, change this later. So we can use now our our mask we had before. So what I do is. I can I delete this again, so uh, then you see what I mean. So I'm here. Now I go to the channels and control click on this symbol, on this thumbnail here. Control click. And now you see we have our 8 here selected. Now I go to the black and white adjustments and you see we have here the color mask. The mask. Now it's, uh, <laughs> it's inverted. But just click on the on the alpha mask and then click on Control I and now you see we have the black and white outside and our color here and now we can play with the and so until I say I like this black and white like this so, but I like the black and white uh, from the beginning with the original original settings just drag it around a little bit to see if, if something changes what I like we can try here something let's go through the blue filter I think lighter was okay for me. Let's go to lighter. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Now I see something here wrong with, with the texturing. You see this here. This we can uh, we can play with the. Uh, Let's make another, uh, my favorite shortcut, Control Alt, Shift, E. So it makes all layer to one layer here above. And here I can go with the stamp tool. And go over here a little bit. So. Then it doesn't look so, so weird here. So. 
This is what I meant to do to re repair something in Photoshop. Okay, but this is too soft here. With, uh, with Alt key and the left, uh, the right mouse key, um, yeah, then you can change the, the size of the brush with left and right tracking, and with up and down you can change the smoothness. But here I don't want it, so go back here. It's not so smooth. Okay. Let's see, it's uh, for me. It's almost. Uh, it's I, I never I never let out a picture without a post work. Yeah, in earlier times, yes. But, uh, So, okay. Good so far. And now, what I want is again uh, make a smart object out of it and go again to the camera row filter with Control Shift A. And let's see if we can do something more. So, okay little more a little vignette maybe okay more exposure okay that's it I would say we can be satisfied with it and as i said uh, we will give you the the uh, links to the real displacement texture but and i have uh, a tutorial on my channel too so how to use the real uh, displacement textures and there you will find uh, the link to the uh, textures too and uh, as i remember there is um, uh, there are free textures too so so just try it try it with the free textures and you see it really makes fun so so they are they are great uh, this this tire things here and it's great okay i would say we have a result for today and i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you learned something new or something else uh, or if you want to uh, if you have questions just ask me if you have requests just request <laughs> and uh, what can I say more? Yeah, um, you will find every uh, script I used, every uh, plugin I used, you find everything in the description where you find a link for the donation too. And <laughs> of course, you find that a link to buy the Nicomedia Scene Rig too. And in the, for the Nicomedia Scene Rig, there will soon come an update. Uh, I don't know how I have time, but uh, sure, uh, it's, it's soon. And yes, that's it for this. The next tutorial will come soon too. This will be a funny thing. This will be... <laughs> I don't know if I have it here on my desktop. I just have a look if I have it on my desktop. Let's see it. Yeah, this is... This here. Is it this? Let's see if it is it... Is it not... Why does it not open? Ah, there is. Yeah, <laughs> we will make this one. Uh, someone asked me to show how to make a, 
ein Old Telephone uh, Hand, Handle Handset, whatever this is. <laughs> and we will do this here with nice holes everywhere and everything. Okay, let's go back to this. So yes, so I say bye bye. And yeah, if you have questions, as I said, uh, ask me just. And uh, I would love if you watch uh, or if you look at my Facebook page, maybe subscribe everywhere where you find me. <laughs> and yes, next tutorial will come soon and uh, update will come soon. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I say uh, thank you for watching my, my tutorial and have a nice day and tschüss und baba.